the hesitating stockings, the hesitating shoes. Hey, hey, babe, I got the hesitating blues. Now, how long? How long must I wait? Can I have you now, or must I hesitate? Nickel is a nickel, time is a dime. There's children on the streets now, which of them are mine? I said, now how long? How long must I wait? Now can I have you now, or must I hesitate? having fun and playing uh, Hesitation Blues by Reverend Gary Davis. You can find a lesson for this on the link below in the description. While I was producing this, uh, this lesson, this video, it crossed my mind that many people have called me and sent me emails about finger work. For example, do you use finger picks? Do you use two fingers? Just one finger and a thumb? How does it work? What is the best? And of course, the best is always what works for you. But saying that, there are some cases where you just cannot use one finger. Some things are just too complex. One of the reasons I like to use one finger and one thumb is that sometimes it slows you down. For example, if you're playing something like this song by Reverend Gary Davis, You could use two fingers for this kind of uh, material, but I like the fact that if you try and play it in the same way as a reverend, it naturally slows you down because if you try and go too fast, your finger moves too fast and you miss the notes. It gives you a sense of pace and often this is what's lacking in our modern way of playing guitar. We miss that sense of pace and that slow, that slow way of uh, producing it. If we use two fingers for that song, it would sound like this. play it faster because your fingers are following on from the next one instead of one finger having to do all the work and jump very quickly. But it does mean that you can speed it up too much and it loses the original flavour. So it's up to you if you want to use two fingers instead of one in this case then you just have to make sure that you play it as slow as you can. Some artists of course played in a style that it's almost impossible to do with one finger. I get the impression that Blind Blake did play one or two things with just one finger, but on his fast ragtime pieces you can hear that it, uh, it must be using two. 
For example, take a tune like Southern Rag. You can see quickly that it's just not possible to use one finger. Another legendary one finger player was Doc Watson. His piece, Deep River Blues, is a, a masterpiece in how you can use one finger and your thumb to syncopate the sound. It sounds much more complex than it, uh, it actually is. If you use one finger, it sounds like this. Of course, to move that finger in the same way that Dot did is a bit of a problem for us because of the speed and because we don't all pick in the same way. So if we use two fingers, we could make it easier on ourselves just to be careful that we don't make it too fast. It'll sound like this with two fingers. You can see that uh, it would be easy, easy to make it too fast and also you can introduce the kind of syncopation that you hear in Doc's music but bear in mind that he just uses one finger and a thumb to make that syncopation and uh, you could understand what a true master that he was. And another master like Big Bill Brunzi also just used one finger although now and again maybe he just used a second finger to add a little grace note here and there but mostly it was one finger. Here again it moved very very quickly. When he played Hey Hey his thumb would brush across the last bass strings, two or three strings at a time, in this way and his single finger would move around. It looks a little like this. It's a lot of fun to try and play exactly as the old guys did because it gives you that same flavour and it also shows you what a great talent they had. I try and play it in this way just once a day. It's very tough to, to get uh, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. You give it a try. If you need to use two fingers then use two fingers. I hope you've enjoyed this little video talking about uh, finger techniques whether to use two fingers or just one finger and maybe it's helped you in some way. Take care. If you like uh, Reverend Gary Davis music and you'd like to see a lesson on Hesitation Blues, take a look in the description below. Take it easy, cheers, and most of all, have fun. <laughs>